Hey folks, it's Amy from Colorado Mountain Living and today I'm going to be taking care of a problem on our property. One of the things that can creep up on you are invasive weeds, especially in Colorado. There's a lot of invasive weeds that have taken over natural habitat, natural species for other wildflowers and plants. And part of our responsibility as property owners is to actually take care of these. It's um, not uncommon to get a letter from the extension office to request that you go ahead and take care of these weeds. Uh, it can be unlawful to ignore them and let them proliferate and take over natural natural land up here. So after the uh, this morning after I hit the gym, right next door luckily is the Cooperative Extension Office and they have a program where you can rent out sprayers at no cost. So I, this morning, I'll show you. Portable weed sprayer and the The herbicide that is recommended for this use is called Milestone. It's actually one of the more mild and less toxic chemicals that can be used for controlling weeds. And you only need like a few milliliters per gallon. So it's really not, you're not really using that much. And when I stopped by the office, you know, they gave me a whole list of things that it can be used for. Mostly we're gonna be working on Canada thistle. Uh, I've got a little bit of mullein, but Canada thistle is the primary weed that's all over the property, mostly along the driveway. So I'm going to mix up a batch and, start and get to work. Luckily, I've got it over the long holiday weekend, and I can be really thorough. I'll probably go ahead and do our neighbor's yard as well, since he's been so helpful for us and getting our framing finished with the beams and all of that. Um, it's definitely spreading in this area, and we want to do what we can to control it because it can it can get ugly. Okay, I got my herbicide, got my tank, got my sprayer. Gonna hunt the wild can of the thistle. I was really trying to find an alternative to Roundup. This is the chemical that's known to cause problems to honeybees specifically. They contain neonicotinoids, and it's a chemical that really messes up the bees function and they think it's related to colony collapse disorder and that's where bees just die off in mass amounts. So I was really trying to find a substitute so I was happy to come across the milestone. So where I first saw them growing up was the side of the driveway so I'm going to look really carefully. I did cut down a few that were up here so I'm going to try to see if I can find any new growth and take care of those. Weeks ago I had chopped down all the thistle that I saw because it was starting to turn into a flower and I didn't want it to seed. But luckily I found out that that's actually preferred. If you cut the seed and then it comes back and then you spray it, you actually have a better chance at killing off all of the weeds. So the first crop of them I know is right in the middle of the driveway here, the sort of the strip between the tires. There's a big patch right here so I'm gonna aim and then squeeze the sprayer. So you don't, you don't really have to soak them, just kind of wait till the wind dies down, first of all. You don't want them going all, go, going all over your legs and stuff. But you, want, you do want to get the most of the, the leaves, most of the vegetation. These are small plants, so you want to kind of cover the leaves with a little coating. Here's a bunch on the hillside here on the side of the driveway. Driveway is about 600 feet long, so I probably in total mixed up two and a half gallons of solution. At the top of the driveway, these are very small plants. It's more along the bottom of the driveway. The first 200 feet is where I have three foot tall, four foot tall thistle plants. So that's really where the most of my application was. I probably used up a half a gallon before I got down to that level and needed two more gallons to finish the job. So it, this is definitely a project that's going to take me a while. It's going to take me a good hour to hunt them all down and spray them. I might have to make up a second batch of juice. I'm actually going to also offer to do our neighbor's yard because I know he's got a lot going on and he's helped us out so much with the house. So here we go. Here we go. Time to get the job done. So the reason why the Canada thistle is an invasive weed is that it's really hard to get rid of. If you cut it and chop it off or dig it out, it doesn't destroy the root system. So the root system is very vigorous and you have to have the plant absorb the chemical in order to destroy the root system. Because if, if you just chop it off at the top, it's basically like giving it a haircut and it'll just come back stronger next year. So basically it, it grows, it's very hardy, it crowds out other plants 
and other species of wildflowers and native plants. So that's why it creeps in and it just takes over and it's hard to get rid of. So that's why we want to control it and control its spread. And I'm definitely happy I'm not using something that's really poisonous to animals or going to poison the groundwater. You know, at first when my neighbor told me that the thistle was a problem, we had to get rid of it. I was kind of wary and resistant about, you know, using an herbicide to get rid of them because I really didn't want to do anything that was going to impact, you know, the pollinators or the bees or anything like that. But this is the thistle about almost two weeks later and effective treatment you're seeing the leaves kind of brownish grayish and dead and I either missed those next to it or did not have uh, enough of a spray maybe you just got a sprinkle but it looks like I got this section missed those skipped the clump of grass and really got these guys pretty good right below so and then a little bit further down the driveway there's another clump here, along with all of the tall stuff that's on the side. Not up here, but on the lower side of the driveway. But uh, definitely a very effective treatment. Um, probably have to hit these up next year. Maybe I can dig them out right now. But So yeah, I'm definitely pleased with the way that the treatment turned out and happy that it's not like one of those extremely toxic pesticides or herbicides that you can use that's really threatening to the environment so definitely recommend it it's required in Colorado if you have these noxious weeds on your property it's actually against the law not to take action and get rid of them so it's kind of interesting they definitely take the environment seriously here so um, anyway try out milestone if that's something that you are looking for an option for something that's a little bit safer for the environment and not quite as toxic toxic as Roundup. So try Milestone for, first and see if that works for you. But um, I'm obviously happy that I found sort of a happy medium in using the Milestone treatment for the Canadian thistle. So I hope you guys uh, learned something. If so, give me a thumbs up on the video and leave a comment if you have any questions. I'm happy to answer anything else if I can. And uh, let's get rid of those noxious weeds so we can preserve the really nice wildflowers and other native plants in this area.